Yeah, the Espresso tool has actually been a, a great lead with a lot of our customers now. Um, you know, we now have a product that allows 128K of code development at no charge which really excites a lot of the customers out there. One of the, one of the barriers that we're confronted with regularly are the tools that are available for 32-bit um, up to this point, right? With 8-bits, you get a lot of free tools, 16-bits. Um, things are just handed to you, and, uh, and so with the LPC Espresso, we give them a piece of hardware, and they download the code, and these tools, they cost next to nothing. So we're really kind of giving them a total solution right from the start and, uh, and opening up their minds a little bit in terms of what they can do with, with these parts and, and ultimately in their applications. You know, one of the great things about Espresso is as we talk to more customers, you know, they like the fact that it's Eclipse-based. Uh, we've also been getting a lot of reports from our competitors that they've looked at the Espresso tool, and they're like, oh, that's cool. So when your competition knows you've done something well, it's great. It capitalizes on uh, on your, your experience in 32-bit architecture, uh, gets it into a lot of low-cost new applications. Um, I developed a, a little uh, uh, plug-in board that I worked with my uh, counterpart, Willie Allen, over there on that we did a, a seminar with. Um, it worked great. I mean, it's it's such a plug-and-play tool. Um, the fact that that um, they've got both the 1100 and 1300 and the new 1700 that's going to be coming out, uh, fit, it's going to fit into a lot of sockets.